What is going on guys, my name is Ron Becky and from Ron Reviews here with another episode reaction to Heavenly Delusion episode 9, 10. We just saw episode 9 yesterday, or at least for me. Um, I am looking forward to seeing if we get more quest and questions. I have a feeling we're going to get a lot of questions. It's like Lost. Uh, every damn new episode or heck new season, more questions, very few answers. I kind of have a feeling. So... I had this weird dream after this happened. I don't know if I even talked about this. My mind is so fried from episode eight that I don't even remember if I made this, this prediction. I have a feeling it was just some random dream I had that I saw some of those characters growing up from the school that we saw some of those characters already in the show. My prediction the school is part of the past. In some way and somehow, the school is part of the past. The academy. The One of the facilities that the main duo uh, from the current uh, post-apocalyptic era are looking for, one of the facilities, is that in exact place. Is the one that we keep on seeing. The only thing is, some of the characters don't look even close to the same from like i remember it was like for some reason i got like this random vision in my dream that i saw some of those characters and it was like a time lapse of what they look like later on and my prediction is we're going to see some of those characters in the present time of where our main duo is and we've probably already seen them my guess it's the people that we saw from last episode episode eight so not last episode two episodes ago and then I was re 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 watching some of the parts. He may was having this dream that she doesn't remember, and that she woke up from it. So it's either that they're they're from the past or they're somehow linked to currently. And I think he may was the was the person that died with all the her, all the limbs cut off. I think it was a girl. Um, I'm guessing Hime was part of that, and the guy, I'm not entirely sure. It could have been the guy, the guy she was talking to with that weird haircut. Um, I'm guessing. Uh, Shiro, I think was his name. Um, again, apologies. Um, I, I'm guessing they're somehow related. Either they're, like, they have an alternate self in a different timeline, or it's actually them. The only problem with the it's them theory is... The one who died looked relatively young still. I still thought it was like her, his daughter at some point. The doctor's daughter. And if that's the case, then why did she look so young? So that, it, 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 they quite, it makes me question that whole time. It's a time skip. And maybe it is an alternate timeline where they're connected somehow. I, I'm not entirely sure. I, I could just be completely wrong. But yeah, uh, this is theory crafting with ramen. Uh, but yeah, anyways, I'm ready to jump into this episode. I've been rambling on for too long. So let's get on to episode 10 of Heavenly Delusion starting in 3, 2, 1. Let's jam. Opening. No, no opening first. Wait, is that the same character? The one, the storyteller? Did, have they convinced the guy to drive them? Did they threaten him with something? I wonder how popular, or how big, and how, oh, I was wondering. Oh. And they're checking to see if the text is actually real. Hmm. 
I wonder if they were doing this to save a little bit on the, um... They were either doing this to save a little bit on the budget, or they're doing this just to show, like, yes, this is the, uh, back in time. A, a flashback. Is he going to open his eyes? I mean, to be fair, open your eyes like that would be a little bit... No. No. Oh, but as I was saying, I wonder if like cars are a big commodity, like they're highly sought after. I would, I would assume so. Hey, you gotta stretch out your legs, man, after this long drive. Of course, he would be. Let's assume that's your girl slash guy. Well, I mean, it depends on how they're animated, because sometimes it doesn't look like that big. Oh! So what you're saying is, everyone who's LAR Games lives there. <laughs> if, if you don't know who that is, it's gonna fly over your head, but... Hello, Reactor. Part of my community. He does not like big-chested women. This is a very comedic episode so far. That keychain, very prominent. I think that was the same keychain that was in the uh, on the um, on the mirror, the rearview mirror. Does, it looks very dilapidated. Yeah, I don't think there's anything there anymore. Completely abandoned. Whoa. What was that? Whoa, that was that was creepy. That was actually good. Oh. Oh, 
Oh man. Yo, look at. But where? It completely changed the art style almost. Ah, oh, missed. Oh, I got the sun in? Yo, look at this animation side, what happened? I thought it looked like a spider. Has, did she drink, put water in her mouth? She's only got two, maybe three shots left. So. What I like about all these monsters seem to have a different effect in some ways. Some are just brutal. But like, this one's very unique. I don't know what that says. Ooh, okay. It looks like it's thorax. Oh, so it's up. It's up. Oh, yeah. I didn't really understand the diagram, but eh, I'll roll with it. No, it's not dead yet. Flashback. Yeah, but it's the fact that you don't really even see them. So I'm wondering if, like, after they left? Yeah. Dude, okay. One thing that I wish a lot more of series of this kind of, like, tone does is these very quick half-second cut of a of something like that small little cut up of, of the picture it adds a lot oh but <laughs> So maybe, maybe, maybe some good news. Oh. Well, he recognized them, so they're not really lying in that sense. Maybe. Hmm. 
How's it gonna react? Why do they take their glove out? Oh no, he took his gloves off. Okay. <laughs> Is she getting a little bit emotional? Yep. That looks like actual meat. I lied. Well, I mean, boar meat is actually, like, a common thing people can still eat. Mouse? Eh. Not bird. At least not here. Not in most developed countries, I would say. Yep. Eat all the meat. Like, I don't know if it's because I'm, like, slightly pessimistic, but I always have a feeling like, hmm, something probably is not going to be as, uh... But the pessimistic side of me is always like, I don't know if, that's, if there's more to it. There's something off with the guy now. <laughs> it has this weird comedic tone with the animation. That was a weird noise. Oh, it's back! Man Eater Part 2 Electric Boogaloo. Did you charge it? So I followed him. Uh. Is he... Is he protecting the kid? Oh. Get your body temperature? Is the kid? No, it can't be. Is it the kid? It's the kid. It is the kid. But how? My biggest worry is it's hypothermia. Was it a lie?
Something gonna come out of his forehead? Uh, it's in the mouth. Oh, no. And now we're at the... <laughs> what does that mean, remove? Her hair's getting a little bit, this is a bit longer. I don't know what that is. Milk? Oh, medicine. Oh. oh. He doesn't need anymore. But I I'm still so... And I, I don't get it. See you, bye bye. Did it just break down? Do they not know how to drive? Did she just stutter the engine? She flood. She did she flood the engine? To be fair, yeah, the, what is up with this kid? Your new friends? What is with her eyes? There's blood. Oh, did he kill them? Oh. He ran him out.
Bye bye. Damn. Oh, uh. what a what a weird ending of a of an episode. That is a very weird ending. Not sure how I. Not sure how I really feel about that one. That ending was very weird. Like I know he, I was acting weird, but like questions with the kid. Like, is it a man eater? But like, it's just stuff when it was crying. I don't know. There's some weird shit going on. Um. I know I'm going to be recording episodes later on, but in the event that I don't get the answers, like, is there a reason why I did that? Or will I know later? And if I, if you, if I'll know later, I mean, one, don't say anything and cause I'll find out on my own, but that was a, that was a weird episode, a very weird episode, but I'm going to wrap this up. I'm going to hurry up and knock out another episode. I want to try to get as many done as I can today. So I have some stuff ready to upload for you guys, but yeah, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys very soon in the next video. Um, I'm going to hopefully go back to daily uploads and go from there. Uh, I still need to touch Bochi the Rock. I haven't even touched that. I've been really focused on this. Um, I've been trying to do everything in within the next like two weeks uh, and go from there. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.